back with my mommy favorites, this time sharing things that we've been really enjoying from the five to six month period. My daughter is now six and a half months old, so this is a little bit looking back, but they're things that we're still currently really enjoying. Um, and I wanted to share with you. Uh, so first of all, teething has begun for real. Uh, it was about late, right before she turned six months old, I noticed we were actually out on a vacation with our family for a family reunion in Long Island. Um, and she was just drooling like crazy. She had turned into a drool factory. <laughs> That's like I'd like to call it. And she also was gumming like really, really like intense gumming. Um, and that to me indicated that we were ramping up to teething and then lo and behold, like 10 days later, I saw a white spot underneath um, the, her bottom gum line in the middle. You know, one of her bottom two teeth started to pop through and since then, that tooth is probably about half the way up now, and the other one is just kind of, the one next to it is just kind of breaking through. So, teething has definitely been a thing. Sorry, that's the garage, but I'm gonna keep going. Um, so, <laughs> the drooling has been a, a little bit crazy. And so I've uh, dug out some of these bibs. We received a set of these as a, as a gift. They're by Green Sprouts, and I believe it was like a set of maybe eight or 10, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I'm pretty sure they're on Amazon. They're really nice terry cloth bibs. They're just really simple um, drool catchers. Oh, it's got, we've got like a rainbow of colors, so I always have one to go with her outfit if we wanna be matchy-matchy, but you know, whatever. Does the trick, really handy to have, and they fold up really, they wash really well, they fold up really small, easy to tuck into purse or a diaper bag or your stroller or whatever for on the go. Um, in addition, teething toys. So Charlotte's been gumming on everything like crazy. Teething rings for the win. I found these kind of randomly when I was perusing the baby aisle at Whole Foods recently, or about a month ago now. Um, and it's made out of the same silicone that they make the sleeves on the water bottles out of. It's a really nice teething ring. They come in packs of two in different colors. We have pink and purple you know, as you do. Um, and it's got different like nubby sides to it. She really likes this. I have one attached to our stroller. Um, no, her car seat actually, that she, every time she's in the car, she goes right for it. She gets really excited about it. Um, so definitely would recommend those if you're looking for a good teething ring. Um, they're very soft and flexible and you can even, you know, if you're out and about and you're like, need to put it somewhere, you can even wear it as an impromptu jewelry piece. No, just fits on your wrist, which is kind of convenient. I have a new um, soft structured carrier. Um, this is my Lilla Baby. Love it. This is the complete airflow. It doesn't look like much when I'm holding it up. Uh, if I have a picture, if I can dig up a picture, I will um, insert one for you guys to show you what it looks like on. This is the bomb.com. I baby wear a lot. Um, sure, I take Charlotte out probably about once a day. Yeah, and most days we go out, well, we go out in the morning for a walk in the stroller, but then in the afternoons I take her for an errand. Either it's to visit family or to go to a store or, you know, do some grocery shopping or whatever, we are out. And when we're out in the afternoons, I baby wear her. And that carrier is the best. We have the Ergo 360 and I just, I never got comfortable with it. It just didn't fit my body proportions right. And it didn't fit her body proportions right either. Especially when we were trying it around the four month mark when you're, their babies can be kind of in between sizes with soft structured carriers. The great thing about the Lilla Baby is that you can use it from birth. And had I known this, I would have bought this immediately. Um, but it's awesome. It's made out of mesh, so it's a little bit more breathable. I found the Ergo was so super hot and it wasn't even hot yet when we were trying it out. Um, you can wear them front facing or inward facing. I wear her in. Uh, I haven't ever tried her out. Um, technically, you're not supposed to wear them out for like long periods of time, uh, but just, you know, for fun, I guess, but we haven't, we haven't done that. Um, but anyway, it's great, and I love it. And a great thing about it, and I don't know if this is gonna be something I can show you, is this piece here. Uh, first of all, it fits me great. If the, the carrier fits me wonderfully, and she fits comfortably in it. And like I said, you can size it for a different size baby. So Charlotte's got, you can like clip the bottom part that their legs go out, if this makes any sense, um, in so it's a bit narrower for smaller babies. And then when they get bigger, you can have it out so it's kind of a wider base for a, a larger baby or a toddler. Um, 
which is great. But the great thing for me is this lumbar support, support panel, which you can take off her frontward facing, and you know, it just slides right off. But this is awesome. It makes baby wearing so much more supported and comfortable. Um, and then also another favorite I want to share about is drool pads. So ever since Charlotte was about f probably about five months old, she realized that she could start sucking on the straps. So she she's usually on me like this with her head facing in, but she's looking side to side. She's like gumming on the straps like crazy. And I didn't want to have to wash the carrier all the time. It's easy to wash really, but it's just you have to air dry it and it takes a while and we use it every day. So I started looking for drool pads on Etsy and I found this shop I really like called 12Bs. It's a Canadian shop. She uses all organic fabric and terry backing and it's so super soft. They wash up great. I just throw them in the washer and dryer with Charlotte's baby clothes. They're perfect. They just snap around the, um, the straps. Um, so you can just wash those instead of having to wash the whole carrier when your baby's been gumming on it for like an hour or whatever. Um, so those have been great. She also sells the drool bibs that go across the front, but I haven't worn Charlotte facing out, like I said, so we haven't had a need for those as of yet. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Charlotte's kind of moving around. She's napping, but she's kind of starting to move around a little. So we'll see. We'll see if we make it through this video. Okay. Essential, this is like an all-time favorite since three months old when I introduced the Lovey. I've gotten so many questions about this. So many, in fact, that I have done a separate blog post. I'm thinking it's probably up already. I don't know how things, the timing of things are going on. If it's not up already, it will be up very soon. Um, if it's up already, I'll put a link. But I did a whole blog post on our Lovey, how I introduced it, how I've made it. It's, it's really two Loveys that I combined into one. This has been essential to helping Charlotte with sleep. Um, ever since she, I um, weaned her off of the swaddle, Bunzi has slept with her in her crib. And I know there are people who say, oh, that's so dangerous, you shouldn't have anything in the crib with an infant until they're a year old or whatever. But I did a lot of thinking behind how, uh, how this would be for her. Um, I was actually inspired by a blog post, and that's all, I'll talk about that all in the post about the, about Bunzi the Lovey. Um, but it's basically a, a jelly cat uh, Lovey combined with an Aiden and an A um, security blanket, that's what I was going for. So it's that really, really fine muslin material. It's very breathable. Um, and Charlotte sleeps with this. It basically lives in her bed now. For the first couple of months, we kind of took it around with us everywhere, every time she was in the stroller, every time she was in the car seat. Now it's just when we're traveling or bedtime. So naps, bedtime, she sleeps with it. She loves this. This helps her self-soothe herself to sleep. I, I can see her because I have a video monitor and she's actually rubbing Bunsy on her face right now, trying to soothe herself back into sleep. Um, but Bunsy, Bunsy. We love Bunsy. Anyway, I'm going to go into way more detail on Bunsy on the blog post, but I wanted to mention it here because I have gotten so many questions about it. Uh, a couple of toy things. We received these Jelly Cat um, tail books as gifts. This one was a shower gift from a friend, and this one was a gift from a viewer, which is really sweet. These are great. Again, they're Jelly Cat, which is my favorite plush um, brand and they are awesome. There are these kind of crinkly soft-sided books. They have the crinkle paper in them and then they there's different themes. So this one's ponytail so it has all different kinds of ponies in it. It's just a little kind of basic story but with different textures and and um, things you can colors and things you can touch. Um, and then this one's fishy tails. This one has a little bit more of a story. Um, really really cute. So what's great about these is not only are they fun to read and play with because they've got like stuff hanging off of them and they're like auditory sensory as well, but you can hang them onto a play gym or a stroller or a car seat um, because they have these Velcro attachments. And so they turn into a hanging toy as well and they are just so awesome. They're really lightweight. They're great to just throw into a diaper bag or the bottom of your stroller or whatever for travel and they are very entertaining. So those would be toy number one of choice and toy number two, which is probably toy number one of choice if I'm being honest, is the um, Fisher Price Rainforest Jumper Roo. I'm going to have to insert a clip of Charlotte in this because it is too freaking adorable. She loves it so much. Basically, it's a standalone jumping 
jumper. It's just a fun kind of stationary activity play center for your child. My physical therapist kind of turned her nose up at it when she saw saw that we had one. I hadn't even really, this Charlotte hasn't been in physical therapy for a while, but I hadn't even really put her in it much at all. And she was like, well, you know, you really should only have them in there for 10 minutes a day because it doesn't teach them anything to help them with their milestones. And I was like, well, okay. But she loves it so much. So I do let her spend a little time in it every day. I have ours kind of parked right at the entrance of our kitchen. It's an open floor plan, but so when I am preparing her lunch and dinner, it just makes it so easy to pop her in there and she can see me and she's happy and she's very entertained, as you'll see. Um, so she probably is in there for maybe, you know, five or 10 minutes at a clip a couple of times a day. So it's not like she's in there all the time. I do prioritize time on the floor. That's what I, all physical therapists say. You, you know, you gotta have the child on the floor to, you know, to whatever, gross motor skills, blah, 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 whatever. She loves a jump room. I'm going to let her go in it. Um, so, uh, I, that was definitely a purchase worth having so many people. So many of you recommended that to us that that's what we decided to go for. And it has paid off in spades because she's just so cute and happy in it. Um, and then last item I'm going to share with you is clothing I favorite from this month, the Carter's little rompers. I don't know if they're still having these in stock right now because they're kind of into fall clothes I would imagine by now but or maybe they're on clearance but we my mom actually gave us this one really cute it has little um, owl embroidered in there and little owl applique on the tush we have like five of these she wears one every day and these aren't my favorite I do love the gap ones too but they're pull over the head they're just a little bit more to deal with um, it's not like hard to get her dressed but I have we just started feeding solids in the last couple of weeks and and I've been taking her clothes off just because it's really messy in this kind of puree stage um, it's just so easy to unsnap this when I'm putting her into the high chair and then put it back on her when she's done eating because it's like pajamas it just like comes off and then goes on they're great for summer because they're really lightweight short you know no legs so they're not too much covering the baby and it's just really they're really cute um, I'm gonna have to wrap this up you guys because Charlotte's like woken up and she's getting a little upset But I just want to talk really quickly about a website that I've been enjoying over the past month actually for the past few months It's the incredible no just incredibleinfant.com. It's a wonderful blog It's just a resource that I go back to every once in a while when I'm looking for a little bit of advice or um you know, advice, I suppose. Uh, I just like the tone of it. It's the, I, don't, I haven't like looked at it for anything specific. I just find that when I'm searching for things, it comes up, especially with things like suggested schedules and feeding and stuff like that. And it's just been, um, it's just been a good resource. Next month, I am going to talk more specifically about starting solids and things that have worked for us and the website that the blog I've actually been referencing that's been super helpful. But I'm going to save that for next month because we really just only started after the six month mark here with the solids. But yes, yeah, so the seven month favorites will be definitely centered around eating solids. But anyway, I have to go get Charlotte. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to know some of your mommy favorites if you care to share. Um, blog posts will have links as always. And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.